You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Project Paradox. Hope you enjoy. I would like to check this floor for another stairwell or an elevator. Is there a map? Just yeah. Is Ooh. there like a fire oh. exit yeah. map? Is there any computers on the Usually floor? there are those in stairwells. There's you like didn't know that you were able to hook into the grid. Yeah. So you're going to check the computers while I look for another stairwell or an elevator? I could do that. For a small fee. Just, uh, uh I don't ounce. have it. One hit? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm at like five here out of eight. He wants a taste of the mana. But you, I know he does, but you don't know that it's going to heal you. It might do the opposite. Butterflies, unicorns, I'm fine with it. <laughs> it's his choice, man. It almost killed us downstairs. That's because I lit it on fire. It saved us. Or is it just because of the nature of the mana? We don't know what it's going to do. Oh. Like this, like this other drug they will try to give me. We don't know what it's going to do. Oh no, that that was great. That gave me XP. I'm told. What is XP? That's <laughs> just what I was told. He feels like his powers are developing yeah. more quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Let's As see here. What was the question? Oh yeah. It's okay. I'm going to roll and what I'm going to interface with the building. I'm going to re-roll, because I rolled a five. <laughs> that was not a real roll. And... Is that your last one? I rolled a one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but he gave me a chip to do that, so yeah. I can't give him one back. I'm out of uh He chips. goes to the wall, finds a junction box, and just sticks his hand in, and then you see this... <laughs> As sparks fly off Should and he zooms back man. from the wall. I'm glad I locked that door. Um, <laughs> while he was doing that, did I find another stairwell on this floor? You do see that there is an adjacent door on the opposite end. Uh, but that's, you know, this is a large building. So that would be like the equivalent of running a city block. Okay. As the blue light begins to illuminate underneath the door again. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. What did you guys do? He just exploded a wall. Yeah. Uh, oh, I exploded. Gonna assume that that lock is not gonna keep the guards of this tower mm. out for very long. Yeah, it's just one of those little... Yeah. Makes the doorknob not turn. Hmm. Um, guys, this way. And try to duck behind some boxes. Unless you want to, like, tape one of those mana pouches against the door and then run the opposite end and shoot it with lightning. Because <gasps> that worked. Not against the two of them, it didn't. Oh, okay. If you think that's a bad idea. I'm right. going to recommend we hide behind boxes. Quiet. You hide behind the boxes? Is that what you said? That's what I'm quietly recommending. Okay. We're hiding. Hiding? While trying to make it to the other side of the... So roll boxes. for stealth? Nobody has stealth. He's trying to hide behind boxes. Either that or you just run straight for that door. That's a city block away. Hey, you're really fast. Yeah, I'm fast. I'm the fastest man. Can you do that with last thing again? Um, you can carry my name one is person. Barry. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I hear her say that, I guess I go ahead and pump power into my legs to run. I can okay. one one person per turn. <laughs> I'm gonna pump power into my legs and try to run. All right. 
Well, if you got you. Power into yeah. All action. right, so go ahead and roll for your speed of lightning. I psionically control my speed of physiology. Ming. Oh, Basically, mind over matter. Yeah. Who knew? Eight. I do. You rolled an eight. Yep. You're going to break my neck. I'm holding your neck. <laughs> you rolled an eight? That's eight. Or you got plus an eight. Plus eight. Sixteen. You're going to. Not kill me, but do something bad. Hey, I mean, we're moving at the speed of light. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. All right, let's <laughs> roll. 22. All right, so you know it's coming. Uh-huh. So you just start running, and you already knew where the door was. Yeah. So you're already, like, more than halfway there. Yeah. And by the time he figures out what he's going to do, and he looks to her, he grabs her, he starts running. Uh-huh. Speed of light. However, the door slams open, Uh and they see this electric bolt moving across the room, and they start running right after you. Well, I thought they'd be afraid. And you'd see them, like, with their swords and the lanterns, and the lanterns that they hold up are, like, pulsating this bright blue light, blinding light. And they're just right behind you. Mm -hmm. They're right behind me. No, they're right behind them. They can, um, can, you already got to that they door. They can move to speed of light? <laughs> wow. Like that light, it's pulsing the more they do crazy oh. feats. Okay, I'm just going to kind of drop her off and then swing back around to confront them. Why are you doing that? I'm intrigued. <laughs> okay. So he leaves you at the door. And he runs back. You and I had just gotten to the door. Do we wait for him or do we go upstairs? Is this the stairs, the other stairs? Mm-hmm. To go upstairs. I don't like the idea of leaving him, but I also don't like the idea of not completing a mission objective. You didn't leave me. I left you. Um, you just weren't there. Oh wait, never mind. Flip that. I left you. Never mind. He went back to confront them because he's curious about them. But he's also the only one capable of escaping at light speed. Yeah, I feel like he can kind of handle himself. Like he's got mostly full health. There's not really much we can do. Although we did get him out of the quicksand. When he was in trouble last time. If we had just covered me in mud, none of this would have happened. <laughs> yeah. We were using you to get us into the building. So y'all are moving on without him? I don't know. We're undecided. Can we just like watch and see what happens for a turn? And then decide. Hide. <laughs> we're just going to watch from the door. Right? I'm going to... She's looking on from the door. Are you looking at her looking through the door? Or are you moving on to complete you're the mission? you move on to the next place, I feel like i got to come with you. I yell out to Sam. We've got to get to Azazel. And... Come on. And then... Sam! Come on. That's yours. I know. I'm just showing it to you. Oh. Do, do you even it. act like you heard you me it. say it, Sam? Wait, what? Does Sam even act like he heard me say we've got to get to Azazel? Okay, yes. But what I do is I just do... I don't even look back at you. I just do this. Okay. And I keep going where I'm going. Hopefully Sam remembers that that's not the actual objective. <laughs> All right, so he's giving you the thumbs up, so you're moving on. Yeah, we need to move on to our actual objective. You said if he moved on, you'd be following him? I feel like I need to. All right, so the two of you start running up the stairwell as you maneuver back into the storage floor, facing off against these two knights of the assembly that are supercharged with mana tried to talk you into leaving with us. 
since we are currently on you moving into this action. I'm, yeah. To I'm the meeting, action. I'm meeting um, nuts. Because, like, as someone moving the speed of light, time does not move. You, you got to kind of, like, rebuild your, your you know, carbohydrates. and. I got to think about what I'm going to say. Yeah. All right. So they're not talking. They're just attacking. So you can roll dexterity to maneuver out of the way of the attack. Okay. As the two of them hold up their lanterns and they seem to be blasting pure light at you. I have rolled a two. You are out of chips. I am out of chips, yeah. So that's a total of ten. Okay. So, this magical energy blasts you from both directions. And I absorb it, right? <laughs> so that's two of them attacking you at the same time. Mm -hmm. They carry an eight together. Eight damage. Eight damage oh, together. That's yes. going to kill me. All right, what's your health at right now? Five. <laughs> then yes, you are unconscious, sir. Whatever has happened, you see a flash of light come from the doorway as you run up the stairs. All right, now, the two um, of you. I hear that. Whatever he's done bought you enough time to make it at least one flight. So you are moving at a good speed up the stairs. Maybe they'll, like, come after us. I tell you to duck into the next floor. I'm going to try and bait him up the stairs so that you can go back and help him. Okay. Alright, so she ducks into floor 34. Uh-huh. Are you going to try and look through the door to see if there's anything on the other side or just go in? Or I trust him. I'm going to go in. Well, he... I don't know if I didn't that. actually look. Well, I trust that you did. So. Oh, okay. So she just hears you and she starts running through this, okay. this doorway. I'm sure that's going to go fine. Uh, I am going to run loudly further up the stairs. All right, so you're like, I got to get to a season. I got to get to a season. All right. So you keep running. Uh, roll for endurance. Roll your con for endurance or your uh, psycho fizz. <laughs> Good. Uh, 17. All right. Well, I mean, you are trying to make noise, so that is there is that. Yeah. Uh, you're starting to feel the strain, though. Uh, all There's the like slamming a... my feet down on the ground. Well, and you continue to push sounds. yourself with your mind, yeah. so you're starting to get this splitting headache. Yeah. Uh, you bust in through that door and slam it behind you or close it gingerly behind you as you realize that you're on a floor full of cages and inside of each of those cages seem to be animals of various kinds what kinds like various kinds <laughs> horses and dogs and foxes and birds cats well that's weird Ain't it though? They ain't parakeets. I'm gonna turn around and keep it. They're all in cages, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna turn around and keep an eye on the door and see if the blue light moves past. Okay. So. All right. So as you keep tracking up the stairs, uh huh. You just keep on going, keep on making the noise. Yeah. All right. So you keep going. Okay. You keep hollering. And you keep looking back. You don't really see any blue light behind you. Huh. You look at the wall. 63. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your adrenaline's carrying you, dude. Uh, do you keep going or do you go back? I stop and I'll listen to try and see if I hear anybody on the stairs at all okay you can roll perception for it okay uh 
13. You don't hear a thing. <sighs> well, I thought they'd have been behind me by now. Uh, Does it have one of those, like, if you look down the middle, you can see? Or is it, like, concrete The other stairs? one was, but this one is, like, the side stairwell. Okay. You can, like, see the next set. Gotcha. Um, I mean, I'm already, like, 30 floors up. I'm not gonna turn around yeah because man that'd be even more tiring yeah. all right so before so since you're gonna carry on we'll yeah. go ahead and address uh brigita Brigitte. yeah um you don't see any light illuminating underneath the door meaning that they didn't continue pursuit or to me they're still down there with them or they've hauled them off somewhere. Those are both reasonable conclusions. This is, we should not have split the party. Mm -mm. That's a bad idea. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go up the stairs since that's where I know he is. Okay. Like, I know where he is. He could be hauled off by the guard somewhere. Or dead. Or dead. Or in search of drugs. I mean, there's just no there's way no to telling. know there what's happening no down there. Telling. But I know that he's up there trying to help me. So, I'm going to go up. Okay. So, you continue up the stairwell and maintain yourself. So, time elapses. After and I, you get to a floor. After I realized I wasn't being chased, I probably slowed down so that I'm not tired whenever I get to where I'm going alone. <laughs> You've gotten to floor 98, and you do hear her coming up the stairwell behind you. Okay. But more like that scene in Kung Fu Panda where Poe is like walking up the stairs to get to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if she ever drops her bag, she's probably like Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Super powered kicks like Chun Li or something. I can't drop my bag. I'm just saying, like all this weight and you <laughs> trucking upstairs and everything. She all drops right. the backpack. She's actually moving faster than Sam. So <laughs> you know that uh, you actually are at floor 98. There's only one more floor before you're where you're supposed to be, where your brother works yeah. his operation. Have I caught up to him yet? Yeah, you okay. caught up. He hey. heard you, so he slowed down. They never followed me. Hmm. So either dude is dead, or they've hauled him off somewhere, or he's just wandered off. Probably means that he wasn't dead because they felt the need to keep him restrained, or they would have chased us. I hope. Me too. We going in this door? Uh, not this one. More stairs? Yeah, just one more floor. <sighs> We're going up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're just going to walk through the door? Kick it uh, open? No, I'm going to peek through. Like, if only somebody had the ability to see what was going on behind doors. I, I haven't crap. picked that up yet. Oh, you don't? That's a shame. I haven't picked that up yet. I would have um, used it on the guard. I did pick up a different ability. <laughs> All right, so you want to peek through the door and do perception? Yes. All right. Twenty-six. You successfully peek through the door. Apparently and you I'm notice good at seeing things. You are very good at seeing things, and nobody's looking quite at your level. Yeah. Um, so you do see that this floor is, like, as soon as you look out, there's a hallway, 
with an immediate door. It's got warning label above it, like uh, with a light, like a flat, the like an emergency strobe. light strobe yeah. light that comes directly off above the door, mm -hmm. and it's kind of strobing. And right below that says "Experiment in Progress." Mm. It's a heavy duty door. I don't see any cameras or anything like that. Two facing that door. Facing the door. Mm -hmm. But above us. Mm -hmm. So they're up here. So I could theoretically do like that if I was tall enough. You could probably try to destroy the cameras if you wanted to. Like it, they'd be at like the corners of this hallway pointing down at the, the door. door. Um, going to play off of the knowledge that I got from the previous fight where I felt like I was moving stuff, like I was creating a force with my mind, mm -hmm. and try to shove the cameras just enough so that they're pointed at the ceiling. Okay. So that would be psychokinesis with wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom would be no, wisdom would be your mental ability. Okay. So 7 plus 15 is 22. You manage to nudge both of them just to where they're kind of pointed at the ceiling just just enough to where if somebody was only about five feet or less wouldn't be seen if they were approaching but somebody with a backpack that's taller than them should might. crawl <laughs> hey that's the stealthiest way to do things if you duck I think we can get past the cameras without them noticing that we're here. Think small. Yeah. Well, as I'm crawling. Okay. So I'm going to walk up to the door, try it. Then you notice that it's locked. Going to psychophysiology with my strength and try it. All right. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any favors except to do now. Uh, that is a one plus eight. So a total of nine. Your splitting headache gets even worse. It's as if you're trying to use these new powers too quickly. Blood starts to trickle from your nose and you feel a complete collapse of your ability in this moment. Oof. He falls to the ground in front of you with like no nose blood coming out and seems to be grabbing his head, trying not to scream. Are you okay? Oh, all you saw was me try to open the door and go. Hmm. Ah. Um, are we still like undetected by the dudes? Mm -hmm. Is he unconscious or just lying? No, he's just kind of seizuring on the ground for a minute, holding his head. Nose bleeding a little bit. Do you want some of the drug? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think man is going to help me, but I'll try it. Give him a, a little bit of drug. Stick jam in his mouth. What does it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> Roll con. Uh, Did I kill him? I mean, that's 12. 12? Yeah. Did I kill him? <laughs> so, you get this weird tingling sensation. Your uh, mouth feels like you are just got done licking a D-cell battery. Yeah. And you open your eyes, like you rub them really hard, and you open your eyes... And there is this monkey sitting on your chest. He has the most beautiful luminescent blue fur. 
and he's just <laughs> no wonder I can't get up and you just see him like <laughs> pawing at the air in front of himself oh, this is the monkey's so heavy he's got a monkey on his back just <laughs> I just had to get that off my chest so um recommend trying the door with extra strength or you could try picking the lock do you do you have lock picks <laughs> with a stone fist i'm just gonna are we trying to be stealthy here he was i was look how that turned out <laughs> because like i don't have the strength that's fine. I can just punch the door, but that doesn't sound very stealthy. It doesn't sound stealthy, but that's what he was trying to do. I was trying to break the doorknob, but yeah. Twenty-four. All right, nice. so you form the stone fist. She just complete frustration with her situation. This dude might be dead or doing drugs. This dude is bleeding on the ground and making no sense. Her hand balls up in a fist of rage. It gets just completely covered with all of this sharp, spiky granite, and she punches the door. Is that a person? Or no, a that was the door, the door skidding across the floor, and you step inside, and you're just frustrated, uh, you know, angry. I guess you're dragging him with you, maybe? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it was not there. All right. So as soon as you enter, um, you see that this room is filled with uh, mechanisms and gears and tubes and beakers, uh, glowing lights all around, uh, pumping magic, as you've seen from the mana explosion. Um, and you look up to see this very diminutive scientists just in front of you uh as he turns around and he says <laughs> oh my who are you and what are you doing here the door was closed for a reason young lady keep in mind you've got me dragged behind you not facing forward <laughs> um what are we doing here uh, you I were, don't know what you're doing. No. Oh. You were on a mission that you brought us along for to stop him from using the device that he created to destroy the world. Do I he doesn't realize necessarily that it's to destroy the world, but it does have that potential. Do I according see anything to your that friend looks Carl. like a device that could destroy the world? You see tons of devices all around this room. Oh, this is where we should have blown up the mammoth thing. You do you have, have some. two. And I have some Molotov cocktails. You do. I, I can't just walk in dragging an, the body of another gnome and I'm, start blowing things up. I'm still awake. So he you, is not, yeah, he's not unconscious. He's just useless. disoriented. Yeah. Um, I drag this, drag him around and kind of drop him in front of the dude. Oh my. This can't be. Uh, it was Zeresh. Zeresh? Is that Zeresh? How do you have my brother? My brother is dead. Zeresh! He walks over and slaps your face. Tell me it's not you! Uh. Zazzle? That is me. Who are you? I. I didn't think I'd see you again. I definitely didn't think I'd ever see you again. You're but, dead! Well, mostly. But I got better. As you're talking to him. <laughs> the funky's playing with his beard even though he can't feel it. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with you, boy? Uh, he took some drugs. What? That is not appropriate. Well, I thought it would help him. She, she what did you give him? 
hold up the brush. She's a friend. Oh, dear. How did you get a hold of my refined manner? Put the brick back. <laughs> it's my business. I saw you with it! You just showed it to me! What is... You can't well, just put it back it in your you. pocket and pretend it didn't happen! I just did. I'm no! not pretending it didn't happen. I'm just Zazzle. not going to let you have it. You, you did it, though. You're... You're on the hundredth floor? Yes. The Black Stone Tower? I work directly underneath Azazel the Black. My namesake. The parents knew. Yes. They knew I would make it. I did too. Right. I'm glad you made something of yourself. I'm glad you came back from the dead to tell me that. This is a very touching moment. Now I'm going to have to ask you to explain yourself. Oh, I was told that you were working on a device that might destroy the world uh no monkey i don't think you no it was a, it was going to destroy the world and the monkey says you should definitely not do that cuz he'd be sad I don't believe that I would destroy the world. Obviously, I'm trying to protect the world. If you had any idea or notion of what is going on in the multiverse right I... now, there is a madman named Stein destroying realm after realm. We are safe here, and I will keep us safe. Zazel! Cogwiggle! Yes, uh... I, I remember that you had that drive... But I'm glad to see that you have focus now. Uh, I'm going to try and actually like force myself to focus again. Mm -hmm. uh, Roll that con. Still got that 12. That monkey is now like dancing on his shoulder and like playing with... He's got like these monocles that, with different apertures for seeing closer and magnifying, and he's just playing with the magnification lenses. And <laughs> you're gonna want to check your devices again before you use them. But I'm really glad that you're doing good. Uh, he turns around, picks up a pad, and he starts writing in it. Do not digest manna. <laughs> I think we can go back and tell your friend that everything's fine. My brother wouldn't destroy the world. He's he's trying to protect it. Yes, of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to finish this power armor for Lord Azazel the Black. Power armor, you say? Yes, of course. That sounds exciting. Can I see it in action? So, I mean, as soon as he gets here, he should be here any minute now. Oh, I thought you were testing it. The test will be with Azazel flying it. Oh. He said that he found the location of the heretics, and he will wipe them from this planet. Did he? He did. Well, that's exciting. It's something. <laughs> um... Do you have an observation deck where we can stand? I don't want to get you in trouble for having visitors. You want me to hide you? I, I mean... Charisma? Sure. For old time's sake, brother. Thirteen. Listen, just sit over there. I'll explain to him who you are. But I am not going to... Tr what do you want me to do? Open up service panels and hide you? There was already an explosion on the first floor today. There was what? An explosion! Some lunatic. Don't worry, they caught him. They are taking I him for trial. Wiping the smudge of explosion off of my face. He will be presented to the Grand Judge. Grand Judge? If he wow. is found to be a heretic, they will decide to either execute or exile. Oh. No, I, 
I doubt he's a heretic, but that that does sound exciting. Uh, yes, I I would like to see this power armor, but perhaps some other time. I don't want to get you in trouble. No. All right. So you leave now. You come back from the dead, you say hello, and you leave. Uh, are you still living down in the third quarter? No, actually I've moved up in the world. I don't know if you've noticed. Yes. Do you live here? No, but... <sighs> here. He writes something on a scribbled piece of paper, and he hands it to you. You can find me at that address. Wait there for me. Take your strange girlfriend dealer with you. I'm not a dealer. We'll do. People but you are his girlfriend. Ha! Huh? No. I knew you did well for yourself, brother. And he goes to shake your hand. People just he goes back and forth drugs. and then bonks your hand and fist bumps in different ways. Elbow I, brush I and then your secret handshake. To all of yeah, <laughs> your secret handshake is yeah. completed when you both like angle your thumbs together to make this bird the shape and flap cog. the wigs. Yeah, the wiggling cog. Good job. You always were the charmer. Well, well, I'll hurry I'll, up that I'll, way. I'll hurry, hurry. All right. And so you're gonna try to leave back. and go back to that to that location that he gave you, or uh, hide here and watch. I think we need to go and find wherever they're holding him. I don't really want to be in the room with Azazel right now yeah. i agree what if he while, remembered to put perception on his sheet yeah while i am not a heretic mage i am currently Azazel. running around with them yeah. all right so you're going to try to escape this facility find out where they're housing sam i am to prevent him from being put on trial and executed and you have no clear sensible plan of how you're going to do this or who may be able to help you do this and if anybody out there wants to find out what they're going to come up with then you have to tune in next time to the same saturday night gaming channel on the same saturday night gaming time until next time this is tony signing off i hope you liked this week's episode of project paradox if you did make sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out all of our other content also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, this is Laura Hibbert with Saturday Night Gaming, signing off.